this video, I'm gonna be getting some stuff done around the house, some gardening, we're gonna fold some clothes, we're gonna pack some clothes, some winter clothes away, we're gonna unpack some summer stuff. We got a lot of things to do over the next couple of days. And I'm gonna take you along in a couple days of my life of minimalist living. Hi, I'm Erica Lucas, I'm the Minimalish Minimalist, and on this channel, I aim to amplify the benefits of minimalist living and making life simple. How'd you make out? You did great. You fit. Okay. Cool. You wanted me to make it heavy. <laughs> well, I wanted you to fill it. Ooh. These are the marigolds from last year. Daddy wanted to save these. Squish it. There you go. We're putting a lot. We're increasing our success rate. We're gonna put this in that one. Okay, there you go. We'll just finish them up. So take one and cut, yes. Make sure it's covered over and then we'll water it after I move it, okay? It's heavy, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Should I help? Nope. I got it! Don't break it. We'll put it here. <laughs> okay. Still light, not a lot. Turn your water on, honey. Is that good? That's probably good for now. We'll let that water do it because there's no sun today to so we'll we'll let that happen. We're good. All the plants don't do those plants don't need sun because they don't have leaves yet so they can't process the sun and um they have once seeds start once they have the seeds have an embryo in them and they also have food in them to start growing leaves so they can make their own food i had to get a shower after all that work so uh, just getting dressed and i'll dry my hair thank you to let's get checked for sponsoring this video i got my thyroid checked I used Let's Get Checked. It is an uncomplicated, easy way to check your own health. I have this intolerance for cold. Um, I had trouble losing weight for a period of time. Um, I didn't like anything on my neck. I still don't. I also tested my cortisol levels. You go on the website, you order your kit, you get it in the mail really quickly, and you activate your test. It is specific for you. There's a QR code that only works for your kit. You put on your information, the date of collection, the time of collection, and collect your sample, your blood sample, and then send everything back. Two days later, I had the results for both tests. One in eight women develop a thyroid disorder in their lifetime, and 60% of us don't know it. My results came in the normal range. That made me feel so much better to know that that wasn't something I was contending with. My cortisol levels also came in normal. Use my link in the description box below and get 30% off your kits. It's a warm afternoon here at Lucasland and the kids are swimming and Ranger always joins them when they go swimming. And I need to dig out their shorts and their summer clothes. We're back inside. I've got their swim things that they got wet today. I gotta go get their towels they used and do a load of laundry. I added the other towels they're using and now I'm gonna go dig out their summer clothes. Okay, got the summer bin out. These are winter, too, too small for my oldest, too big for my youngest. I can't figure out what this is. Okay, just curtains and a photograph, some photographs. Basically what I'm just gonna do Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dump it. There we go. So I can put the winter things back in here. Years ago, like 2019 prior, I would not have had one bin of winter stuff to hang on to for the, for the next season, for stuff that didn't fit them this year that may fit them next year. I would have had bins and bins and unknown piles of things in their closets having one bin of stuff that i'm keeping for the next season of stuff that might fit them next year that doesn't fit them this year it, it's just part of living now with less and part of my minimalist living lifestyle 
is our winter comforter that I washed. Put it away for six months. I just store it in my boys' closet. My boys don't really need their closet. They don't have enough stuff. These are all shoes that my eight-year-old wore. He's eight now. That may fit my five-year-old. And these are all clothes from last summer to assess for this summer. I don't have a set number, like a magic number of shorts or shirts for each kid. My boys have less than my daughter. She just requires more choices. It's what she wants. I do not expect my children to live as minimalist. I don't force that upon them. They learn from me living with less and make their own choices about things. They have learned to prioritize which toys are important and which toys they'd like to give away. They still make huge messes because they're kids and my boys do not care how many shorts they have or how many pants or bathing suits or shirts. They just care that there's stuff to wear. I mean, they wear them inside out. They seriously don't care. So I just make sure I have enough to manage laundry in a reasonable way, that their drawers aren't empty. They're always waiting on a pair of shorts. I just make sure that in the laundry rotation as a minimalist, there's just enough clothes for each person. Uh, if I go five days and somebody needs something, that's just because I've gone five days without doing a laundry routine for a family of five and routines are super important and something that I have learned to make sure I stay as consistent as possible with as as a result of my minimalism journey that routines are well they're foundational in everything that you want to do in a day okay so this is a stack of keep from last summer that should fit everybody this summer. My oldest will need new shorts and an extra swimsuit. I have some extra karate gear and a winter hat. And then I have shorts that are too big for my youngest and too small for my oldest. So I will reserve those for next summer. And then I have this is a declutter pile of 3T and 4T bathing suits and shorts. Oh, honey. I need wide sandals. I know, you need wide sandals. I know, and these are definitely, you, you said they're too tight? Yeah, oh yeah, they're too tight. Yep, they'll oh, leave marks. Okay, so we'll donate these. Yeah, we'll get food. Good morning, it's the next day. I got a snack eater. My daughter's in front of me coloring on a box. Um, and I need to just do a couple more things to keep going with the flow. I need to finish packaging all their winter stuff, put that away. I have some snow gear in the closet. In bins. I'm going to put that with their winter coats and boots and just pop it all back down in the basement for six months. Uh, I want to get some of my plants potted up because it was a terrible rainstorm last night. Very different weather today from yesterday. And uh, fix that because they are, they're, they're drowning. They're drowning. So I'm going to do that and we'll see what else today holds. Part of getting the warm stuff out means the cold weather gear needs to get packaged up. So all their winter coats are gonna come off of here. We really won't need coats for the next six months. We got so much rain last night waters in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna pot up all of these here in an effort to get them dried out because that is crazy they are waterlogged they're either gonna thrive or die from this point <laughs> okay got my basil potted up I actually had a couple extra so I added them to here so I've got please don't wash my oh good grappoli tomatoes basil, rosemary, rosemary, some sort of uh, pollinating flowers, basil, tomatoes, this guy. Yep, I brought him back from the dead. Pretty excited about that. Tomatoes, 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 peppers, peppers, lavender, broccoli, and then peppers that need to be potted up. Everybody is so hoped 
Over here I have the start of this. Some evergreen trees that were growing from babies. They were about half that height before. And now they're actually starting to get some width too, which is gonna be great. More tomatoes and then a couple of dead citrus that I'm <laughs> did some research. And even though they are like dead, I might be able to bring them back. So I'm regularly fertilizing, watering, and if they don't come back by the end of the summer, they'll go in the trash or the compost. It's still early, it's still May. So let me kind of explain to you my grand sort of vision. Last year we had a big blue awning and then the table and chairs, which are now back here. And then over here I had my garden. My vision for this year is to create little pockets of seating areas. I have some chairs in the shed. Little pockets of seating areas with a bunch of vegetables and flowered plants. And we are growing our own food. Yes, this is a lot of seedlings and yes, it's only around one, but we're, we grow our own peppers and tomatoes. This year we're actually gonna can them after we harvest them to save them for the winter. Let's see how long we can go. Last year, we just gave them all away. <laughs> we had so many. This year, we, we are uh, trying out canning for the first time. I added eggplant, broccoli. I'm going to be doing carrots, potatoes, and garlic as well. I added an herb garden this year. This is my first year with herbs. So I grew basil from seeds, rosemary. These rosemary is our, I actually got from the farmer's market. Um, and then bee balm, chamomile. And I actually <laughs> can't believe this worked, these strawberry plants. I took organic strawberries and uh, peeled, cut the skin off, dried the seeds in the window until they turned black and then planted them and I got strawberry plants pretty excited so that's my vision fabric bags have worked very 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 well for me this is my third year with fabric bags and they just they work really great for me container garden to do container gardening because we are renting this house and <laughs> if we move this summer that will be hilarious to move all of our garden plants I just use this, I get it from Target, for when I pot up. And then I add fertilizer as needed, if needed. Back there, there's two tarps. That tarp is a comp covering the compost bin. And that tarp is half compost, half dirt that we had to litter <clears throat> delivered last week. And Andy and the kids and I shoveled it into wheelbarrows. It is nice. It's a good day. It is nice, except for the snow. You guys are doing great. Yeah, don't break it apart. Break that time. All right, move out. I can break it. And moved it to the backyard. We had it delivered in the driveway. And that's the dirt I use to fill all the fabric pots. So the next stage after this size is to move up to a fabric, five gallon fabric pot. And then I use that dirt to fill those fabric pots. That's the cheapest way to go because using one of these doesn't even fill five gallon 
uh, bag. Whereas that giant pile of dirt is three yards of dirt and costs $200. One of these costs $9. So that's what I do to get my seedlings nice and strong. I harden them off and I pop them in five gallon bags and they live there till the end of the summer. Let's see, and one of these filled 15 seedling thingies, pots. This is going to produce canary bell peppers. This is what I call stage two of seedlings. Once they're up, they have a couple of sets of true leaves. Their leaves start to get a little bit bigger. Then I move them to the next size up, which is this. And then they get these huge, beautiful leaves. Then I move them to the five gallon pot. That's how I do my peppers. I'm done for a day. It took me about a half hour and I've potted up quite a bit here and there and there. <laughs> Starting to come together. Cleaned up my mess for the most part. I'm gonna leave those to dry out here. Hopefully the sun will come out today. 